Hey everybody, the folks at Movella have shared a few sets of mocap data that you can download and use for free, so I thought I'd show how you can quickly put those to use in Unreal Engine. So if you go to movella.com, you'll see this banner across the top, and there is a download now button. That'll take you to the first page of information about these files, and then go ahead and click the Explore Free Assets. That brings you down to the bottom of the page, and there are three different sets of assets. I'm gonna download the dynamic sports animations, and try those out. So we'll click download now, we get another page, and finally use that download now button to uh, fill out this form and download the data. So once we've downloaded that data, we'll have a zip file that extracts to having 10 different animation FBX files, plus there's this MVN puppet. So this is the basic skeletal mesh that goes with the accent suit data. So this is the data we'll use. I'll get rid of our web pages here. And I've already got this Unreal Engine project with mannequins and the metahuman set up. So we can bring all of that FBX data from Movella into here to retarget to these characters. So I'll just create a new folder to store the imported data. So a new folder, we'll call that Movella double click to get in there. Let's go back to our folder full of files. And the first thing we want to import is the puppet file because this is the skeletal structure and the mesh that all of these animations are going to go on to. So I'll select that FBX file, click and drag and drop it into this folder in on the content browser for Movella. And we will import the skeletal mesh. We do want to import the mesh. We don't want to designate a skeleton. This will generate a new one and uh, everything else is fine. So we'll go ahead and import that. And this will result in a number of materials as well as the skeletal mesh, skeleton, and so forth. So these are just warnings that we don't need to worry about. We'll clear those and close our message log and control shift S to save everything. Control shift S, there we go. And so we've got the structure in place. Let's go back to our file list, control A, and then control select on that puppet so that we've only got the 10 animations selected and we can drag and drop those into Unreal. We're gonna go ahead and accept that this is the MVM puppet. That's gonna be the skeleton that we're gonna apply this to. I usually choose animated time as my animation length and uh, convert scene is also correct. And we'll go ahead and import all to bring in all 10 of those animations. All right, nothing in our message logs. So we can close that window. Control Shift S to save all of our changes. And we've got all of those animations in place in our Movella folder. Fantastic. So the next thing we need to do is define our IK rig and retargeting so that we can copy animations from this character onto either one of these. So I'm going to right click on our skeletal mesh for the puppet and choose Create and IK rig. It gives us a new IK rig asset. Double click on that to open it up. And beauty of Unreal 5.4 and up, we have auto create retarget change. Click that button and all the structures we need for retargeting are now done. Now I could use create the IKs, but we're never gonna really target animation onto this skeleton. We're always gonna be using this as a source. So I really don't need the IK rigs and I will leave those alone. So I will save this as it is and then find that asset here in the content browser again, right click. And this time we're gonna create an IK retargeter so we can start copying our data. So here's our IK retargeter, double click to open that browser or editor rather. So let's uh, retarget onto the mannequin first. So for my source, we've got the puppet and for our target, I'll select IK mannequin. And we need to adjust our retargeting pose. Clearly the mannequin isn't quite matching this uh, puppet. So over here uh, where it says running retargeter, we're gonna click the ellipsis choose edit retarget pose. And again, uh, Unreal 5.4, we've got our auto align button. So we'll go ahead and use that to choose all bones to be aligned. And there we go. So now we've got all of the mannequin bones aligned to the puppet. So we can go back to running the retargeter and then we can convert all of these animations. So I'm going to select all of the animations from the puppet, export selected animations, I'm going to drop those into content characters, mannequins, animations, many, and we'll give these a prefix of many underscore, and then uh, it'll be followed by all these names. Excellent. Export those. 
and we don't need to overwrite. There's nothing there. Include references. Sure. Export. Boom. Okay. So those 10 animations are all now retargeted for the mannequin. So control shift S to save those. And let's, uh, retarget for the man metahuman now. So we'll use the metahuman retargeting ring. So we'll click this drop down and IK metahuman. And instead of the female normal weight body, we're going to find the male medium normal weight body preview. There we go. And that should be everything that we need. The retargeting looks okay. Let's just double check. We'll go to edit retargeting pose and we've got target selected and we'll choose auto align and align all bones. And there was just a slight adjustment, so worth doing. Let's go back to running that retarget. And finally, we'll select all of our animations, export those. This time we will put them in the metahumans folder and we'll just call that mh underscore as a prefix and export those. Again, we don't need to override anything and sure, we'll include the references. And there we go, control shift S again to save everything. And that quickly, we have all of those animations retargeted for both of these characters. Let's go ahead and test those out. I'll go to content, right click, create a cinematics level sequence. And we'll just call this anim test underscore SEQ and control S, double click to open it up. We'll select both of our characters and add them to our sequencer. Now they're gonna default to having control rigs. We don't want those. So we'll just right click and delete each of those control rig tracks. And finally, we'll add the animations to the characters. So for the body for this uh, metahuman, we'll go ahead and add the pitcher. So pitch, there we are, pitcher. And then we'll also do that. Let's go a frame in so we can see that initial pose. And we'll do that for the mannequin as well, pitch. And so let's make sure that is set up to the beginning. And uh, let's finally make sure we've got all that animation all the way to the end. So I'm gonna set this to um, go to frame, say 500. And that's more than enough. We'll just drag this out, go to the beginning and play this back. And there we go. We've got uh, both characters performing both uh, all the animation and that would work for all 10 of those animations. And that quickly we have everything retargeted and we can of course continue this with other characters if necessary. So I hope this helps until next time. Have fun.